What's up? What's up, Big Thomas? What's up? What you think about the new chicks we just got? Huh? <laughs> yeah! What is up, Cog Squad? My little buddy just got some cool, new, special chicks that she wants to show y'all because they lay some cool eggs. Cantaloupe, how in the world are you sitting like that? That's like goose yoga, cantaloupe. So, the other day, Mrs. Cog Kill and Mary Carl, they had contacted a breeder that specializes in certain breeds of chicks that Mary Carl wanted. And so he had set her aside some cool chicks. They went there and got them. What you got? All right, show me what you got. These are the cream leg bars. Cream leg bars. These are bluebells. That's a bluebell. Mm-hmm. These poofy chicks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Mm -mm. It does. I think it's okay. So you got the right one? That first you want to shut it up so they don't get too cold? Yeah. Let's do it like that. That was pretty. Whatever you fold it. Pull, pull this back. This one. All right. What did you get? The yellow one, like this bright yellow. Uh-huh. Those are blue bells. And tell them about a blue bell. They like pretty eggs. What color? Blue. Blue. And that's why you wanted them, right? Because mm -hmm. we don't have a a true blue egg layer, yeah. right? We got a green egg layer. Mm -hmm. Two we, olive eggers. We got, you just recently got two olive eggers and we'll go show them in just a minute. But we don't have a blue egger. No. We got the Morans that lay super dark eggs, almost chocolate. Yeah. And the Whale Summers are laying dark eggs. So this is why you wanted these cool chickens here. Now show them the other one. This is the one that I'm excited about. This is a what? Cream leg bar. Cream leg bar. Now, they're a beautiful chicken, right? Mm hmm They have a little tuft. <laughs> Got a little tuft on their head. But what's also cool about the leg bars is... They lay, like, bright turquoise eggs. Bright turquoise blue eggs. All right. So, that's, that's the main reason you went. Mm hmm Was to get the blue egg layers. Yeah. The leg bar and the blue bells. Now, show them the other ones you got. Um, a blue copper moron, which will lay the super dark brown eggs. Mm -hmm. It's like a French copper, but it's blue. Gotcha. Two of the splash morons. Splash morons, which also will lay super dark eggs. And what makes them splash? You can tell that they're starting to get little black feathers in. Just little blacks, like like you splashed it with black paint. Yeah. So, and splash is any chicken. You can have a splash Americana. Potion. You can have a, spa a splash cotion. This may be considered a... Yeah, that is splash. Even though she's a mixed breed that we've, we bred ourselves, it would be considered a splash. Because it looks like you just splash black paint on it. These are your other babies. Look how big they're getting, y'all. Y'all see them every week. And you can just see how big they're getting. They're just getting, they're <laughs> they're getting pretty big. As a matter of fact, we have moved the uh, new chicks in here with them. But... The big They're just too big. You know, we put the heat lights in here for the new chicks and the big chicks just push them out of the way and just, well, they just got up. But they'll stretch and sun under the heat light, pushing the little ones away. We're going to take the little ones and put them in the barn, in the brooder in the barn. So you wanna go get a little cat carrier or anything? Yeah. Okay, let's go do that. Come on, Big Thomas, and help us move these chicks. Get some work out of you today. Look at him. This is who I need to be getting work out of. What's going on, boss lady? What's going on? Are you excited about the new blue, blue egg laying chicks we got? I know you are. Are we fixing the movie? Yeah. I'm thinking about just using that little long, that long thing that came in here. Yeah. You can do that. All right, let me get this little cat carrier. Look at the darkies. We have or I say we, Mary Carl has. She has moved her turkeys in the barn. We got them on the roost. They're so inquisitive. Yeah, they want to investigate everything. They do want to investigate everything. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I love them up. 
Okay. Have you named Mimi? Oh, Scott. Yeah. Is that feeder okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Thomas, she ain't been no help yet, buddy. But you look beautiful. Put that in there. Got a little water. Yeah, that little bitch. Mm. All right, guys. Y'all gonna be good. All right, so we got something super special from a super special fan, and that is my main man JC and his awesome family. Y'all say y'all saw JC come by about a month or two ago. It's about a month or two ago, but check out this awesome sign that they got us. Solid metal. <laughs> and we're gonna put it on our coop. <laughs> Thomas said that does not have a turkey on it. Thomas, we got change our logo. Yep. How awesome is that sign right there? Thank I like you. It. I love it. Thank you, JC and family. Our first sign on the coop. First sign on the coop. Sweet. That looks good. I like it. Oh, you gotta show them the mallard nest. <laughs> y'all, y'all, you guys ain't gonna believe this, but y'all look where this mallard has oh, made a nest. Yeah. This is crazy. Reckon she'll get up when we get over here. She is totally camouflaged in this nest. Y'all look at this now. And that, right, number one, there she is. She has got a nest in that pot and got a mess of eggs. And then right behind her, that's Go-Go and her babies. She's the one that had the babies in the horse trailer. Another duck nest? The polka dotted call duck has a nest. It's on our bank? She's on the other side. Oh, she's on the other side? See that white stuff? I barely see it. It's a little like Oh, crack. I do see it. It does look like trash. It's been getting on camera. Right there. Oh, there it is. Right <laughs> there. That little white dot is a call duck nest. Well, a call duck nest. Oh, my gracious. Look at him, look at him. Hey, little buddy. He's got some serious claws. Look at them claws. <laughs> the one we found didn't have the claws like that, did it? Mm-mm. He's a pretty one. Mm -hmm. He is pretty. He's shellless, flawless. He has algae on it. Stay that way. Like you think we're going to put him in the creek? I told her I saw one. And it went under the water about that time. Uh huh. And she said, Oh, I see him. I said, Where? She said, Right there. I said, Oh, well, I didn't know one I saw. And more than one down there. Yeah. I see him down there. Watch your step, buddy. All right, little buddy. <laughs> the ducks. The mallards. There he goes. <laughs> his head's still tucked in his shell. You don't know where you're going, man. You're going to run into the wall. Cool beans. Let's go hang that swing. Glass of cold lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> We're still getting these awesome tags from you guys. I can't tell you how much we appreciate them. So we got an Ohio one and we got a Florida one. Why don't you put this one down here so it won't be next to a Florida one? All right. The Buckeye State. Where do you want this one? Uh, right, right under that Nevada one. Under the Nevada one. Awesome. Thank you guys. Y'all want to see some chickens go crazy? Check them out with these mealworms right here, especially Starlight. That Brahma rooster, who is super sweet. 
but he goes nuts over mealworms. Look at him. <laughs> Mealworm time. JP don't want any. And that's pepper. And we can tell because of their booth size. Pepper's got a much larger booth than JP. Blondie's on the right, and she's got a much larger booth than Dolly Parton right there on your left. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Emu egg update. Is it moving? You think it's moving? It will move sometimes. Now, you said the other day you tapped on it. You thought you heard something mm -hmm. tapping back. If you guys missed it in the video, our last video, I think, we do have emu eggs in the incubator, but we're not for sure if they're even fertile, but we're gonna give it a shot. Now, the thing about emu eggs is, is you can't candle them. They're so dark and thick that you cannot candle them. So from what we read is, is that you can set them on the counter or a flat surface and see if they wiggle or move, which you think you've seen that. Yeah. And the other way is a tap test and see if something taps back or you can hear anything. What do you think you've heard something? Yeah, it's, it's really light. Uh-huh. It's like... Gotcha. So we got eight of them. Hopefully, maybe one will hatch. <laughs> all right. Not all eight. Not all eight. Ain't that right, Peanut? Let's go check eggs. What's up? What's up, Bill? We're going to go check some eggs. Send me the lay today. You got a guess? Five, five, fifty-five. Okay. Big Thomas. Well, hello, Miss Bootsy. Hello, Bo. Tip, top. How y'all doing? Looking lovely. Gotta get eggs. Come on, Thomas. Let's go on up. Come on. Come on. Let's go up. Come on. Come on. Forty-four today. They've laid since our last check. All right. Look at those two sitting beside each other. That's these. Your two. Did we ain't, did we talk about them? Uh -uh. Let's talk about them. That's your two olive eggers. That is your buddy had these, and she wants basically all bantams, so she traded you th these two beautiful olive eggers for two Koshen bantams. bantams. All right. And what's their names? That one's Soot and this one's Wilhelmina. Soot and Wilhelmina. <laughs> oh, beautiful girls. They're big chickens, too. Yeah. I don't think that one is in the back. Big girls. She there. Almost, when she dropped down here, they were all roosted. Big girls. All right. Good night, turkeys. Good night, little chicks and little bluebells and leg bars. Showgirls. That's a showgirl here. Bells. Mm. You see the little Japanese? <laughs> What's up, Mr. Cloverleaf? Hope you sleep tight, buddy. 